Hi, welcome to Todd's Tips. I'm Todd Barsness of Full-Time VoiceOver Talent, and Todd's Tips is a feature of VO Marketing Pro. Now, if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VoiceOver, just visit our Facebook page, website, or contact us via email. The links are located here. So here's uh, one of my do's and don'ts. It's a do. I do immediately, and I put that in quotation marks, and I'll explain. I do immediately get back to my clients with revisions. I do that. Now, here's something that I'm not sure we really think about, but I thought about this a fair amount, and this is why I do what I do. We talk constantly about marketing marketing to potential clients, and then, of course, getting back in front of current clients. And of course we should. Of course we should. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of marketing you're doing. You need to get in front of potential clients, stay in front of, you know, warm responses and, you know, people that have used you in the past. But one type of marketing, most people don't consider marketing, is revisions and getting them back to the clients ASAP. I try to immediately get them back. There isn't much that makes clients happier. And this is what I found over, you know, I'm, I guess I'm starting my 13th year. August 1st was my wow. anniversary. And so I'm starting my 13th year. There's not much that makes clients happier and keeps them coming back than turning revisions around quickly. Yes, Revisions can kind of be a pain. I don't know if that's how you feel. Oftentimes, the revisions that I get back, I don't get paid for. And so you kind of put that job down, put it in the books, you invoice it, and then all of a sudden, a week or two weeks later, hey, uh, the client changed some things. Can you mm -hmm. do these, you know, these revisions? And so they can kind of be a pain. And yes, revisions are part of an ongoing project with a current client, of course. And yes, revisions may seem to be more like customer service, right? I mean, they're a customer, you're just serving them well. And, and, but here's the thing, you need to think of the revision process as a marketing touch. That's how I think it, of it, a marketing. And, and, and it's, it's how you serve your clients. Uh, you want marketing, let me just say this, marketing is, is showing your clients how you can serve them, and how much they need you. That's marketing. Mm. How you can serve them and how much they need you, in a nutshell. Isn't that what marketing really is and what it's all about? Um, here's an illustration, and this is why I do this. Oftentimes we say that voiceover is the last link in a chain of events. Do you understand what I'm saying by that? Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, there's certain links in a chain. Right. And but, so it's the last one. They have every they have the script, they have right. all sorts of other things right. in place. Then the voiceover is the final thing that they put together mm -hmm. for the full project. Yes, exactly. They've gone to the ad agency, maybe the video production company, they've written the script, they've done the branding, they've worked it through committees, you know, all of these different things. They made the video and now they say, now I want a voiceover talent. Mm -hmm. And so they look. <laughs> and that's why oftentimes we're like, we need this yesterday mm -hmm. or we need this today. And that's truly how it is because we're kind of the last link in a chain. And so oftentimes, here's my point, oftentimes the project is held up if we hold up the revision process. Sure. So they might be sitting there in the editing suite with the client yeah. mm -hmm. saying, oh, here's an edit. Let's get that back to Todd or Hudson or whomever and hopefully get it back right away. Mm -hmm. And if I can deliver that in sometimes, if it's a, it, like if it's a few sentence, I drop what I what I'm doing at that point, unless I'm in a live directed session, sometimes I'll finish a script. But if I'm doing a long narration process or in the middle of something or taking a little break, I'll hustle right down there and I'll get right to their sure. revisions and send them on quickly. And that makes them so happy. I can't tell you I, every single week, because I do this regularly, every single week I get, wow, you're amazing. This is amazing. You're so fast. Thank you for getting this back to us. And it's not, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that's what you can do 
to not only serve your clients, but stay on their mind and say, that's the person I want to work with in the future because they get things back to me Mm -hmm. right away, especially revisions. And so personally, I basically drop what I'm doing and return the revisions as quickly as possible. Sometimes, again, if it's a few sentences within a half an hour. Secondly, if I can't get it to it, maybe there are more revisions or it's I'm in the middle of something, I just type them an email mm-hmm. and say, hey, got your revisions. I'll be getting back with you quickly. Those are two things that are very rare in the voiceover world, getting back to somebody right away or you know, Mm -hmm. getting the revisions back to them right away. Right. So communication and customer service, which two things you don't think should be a problem. Right. But that's something we've learned. Yeah. And (laughs) it sets you apart from the others. And again, remember, these are opportunities. Yes, they're being client centric, but they're also saying for the next time, use me again, because I'll be there to help you. I'll be there to serve you. I'm going to do this. You're top of mind for me. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Thanks a lot for joining me for Todd's Tips. And if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VO, the links are listed here.